on tonight. We're going to be having various speakers on tonight. We're going to be bringing forth the word of God. We're going to begin with our first one. On tonight, we're going to ask you to stand to your feet. And we're going to bring forth Minister Brandon Mitchell Williams. Give God a hand raise as he comes forth and bring the word of God. chapter number 34 yeah. and verse number 3 I want to give honor to God who is the head of my life and the reason I'm here I thank God for my lovely wife Deaconess Tony Williams Hallelujah my, my son Brandon Jr. my daughter Brooke Williams and also my father Joseph Smith God bless you all tonight Hallelujah to all of our ministry leaders and executive boards Thank God for you on tonight. Hallelujah. And I thank God for our senior pastor, Elder Ernest Claiborne. Come on, put your hands together. And his wife, Dr. Hazel Claiborne. God bless you on tonight. Hallelujah. Here is the reading of God's word. Psalms chapter number 34 and verse number 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. And the message on tonight, we are going up together. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. You may be seated tonight in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. As long as I've been a member at the Potter's House of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, I've always looked forward to this service, our watch night service. Hallelujah. This is a time of, where we bring in a brand new year together. Yes. Celebrating and praising God together. Yes. Hallelujah. Rededicating our lives back to God together. Yes. Consecrating ourselves before the Lord together. Yes. Crying out to God, asking the Lord, Lord, direct us into a brand new year. I'm reminded of this kind of togetherness when Psalmist David said in Psalms chapter 34 and 3, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. David killed two birds with one stone. He, he said, not only am I going to personally show up with praise to the party, but I am going to see that the people that are there, they're going to join in with me, and we are going to make his name great together. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a good place you all to go ahead and give God praise together in the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost in you speak and bless the Holy Ghost that's in your neighbor as we bless the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. You ought to prophesy to your neighbor and say, neighbor, help me magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Let us magnify his name together. So I pray as we seek God going into a brand new year, that none of us allow ourselves to be left outside of this corporate move of God. We know that according to the word of God, God is yet answering our prayers. We know for assurance that God reigns on the just and the unjust. We know that we can go into our secret place with God and we can receive knowledge and revelation as we begin to call on the name of Jesus Christ. But what about when the people of God come together with one mind, one agenda, and they touch the almighty God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Let us look in the book of Acts chapter number 1 verse 4. We know this story very well, how the early church, they were obedient to the word that God had given them, and they waited for the promise from the Father. Yeah. Acts chapter 1, verse 4, and being assembled together, somebody say together, together. with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father. Verse number 8, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same God that filled the early Christians and filled the house of God is the same God that's blessing with abundance and more in 2024. See, I'm going to receive my blessing for the entire year of 2024. I received it this morning by faith. As soon as the man of God started speaking these words over this church, I received it right then and there. See, when you really want to see a move of God in your life, you've got to have faith on fire. You've got to do like our pastor told us many that when God speaks into your life, you got to receive it with joy and you got to begin to walk in it. I don't need no report from the doctor. I don't need to see my billing statement. I don't need to check from Wall for Wells Fargo. I've got my blessing when I receive the word of God. As soon as God said it, I picked it up and I walked right on in it. When God told him that he's going to receive exceedingly, abundantly, above all that he could ask or think, the Bible says that he considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb. But he forgot those things that were behind him. Forget those things that happened in 2023. Forget those things that happened in 2022. Feel 
the house, the Holy Spirit of God coming in like a mighty rushing wind from the heavenly places to fill the house where they were sitting. Could you imagine the power and the sound that they must have experienced? I'm believing that God is going to do something awesome. God 